Good time of day, guys! My name is Godzi, and I can collect platinum points. I don't want to. Le uh, welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Engage. Last episodes, we completed chapter 4 and 5 of the Fel Xenolog. Uh, I liked 4. I, I did enjoy this. The Frigid Forest. I did not enjoy this stronghold thing quite as much, but it was fine. Uh, and yeah, we're presumably super close to finishing. We have a battle at the Fallen Somnial, uh, but for now we're gonna go to the regular Somnial because we did not do our post-battle support stuff last episode, and we couldn't after the, uh, Frigid Forest map, because it automatically went into Chapter 5. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know exactly what supports we're gonna go for, but we got a relay ticket. That's fun. Alright. Clans on cooking duty. Who's in the lesbian chair? Oh. She's not in the lesbian chair, but she's right next to it, so it's kind of close. Um, Alright, who shall we eat with? Let's, we eat with Bune too often. Let's eat with Peynet. And... Amber. Perfect. They both like mutton stew. Go for it. I'm pretty good at cooking. I would hope I so. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I add this, I stir it, I chop it. Wait. It turned out really well. Yay. Such exquisite flavors. Whoa. All right. So we didn't get either of their B supports, but we did get their support together. Ooh, S. I feel weird giving you left. Thank you. I've never had the leftovers before, but that's fine. Alright, but... Hey! Alright, what the fuck are they gonna talk about? Um... I don't know, I... Hard read. Amber's gonna ask Paynet where, uh, alpacas go after they die. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have to check that place out! But it's too dangerous to go by myself. Pardon me, but I couldn't help overhearing. Are you planning a trip somewhere? Amber's fucking tall. I <laughs> I never really noticed, but I think if I remember correctly, Paynet's height is 5'5, five five, so Amber's Listen to this, Panette. pretty damn there tall. Are rumors about a nearby forest that hides an old mansion. Oh, I have never heard of this place. Me neither. I just learned about it. According to local legends, a famous knight lived there. Ah. He was a brave and noble warrior who fought as if he would never die. Right up until he died. Nice. <laughs> the very next day, people say the knight's spirit could be seen wandering inside the mansion. Okay, well I already see how this connects the two. <gasps> how extraordinary! Poor guy doesn't know he died! Now he roams his own halls as a shadow of his former self. Would that not make him a ghost? Oh, huh. Well, if you want to get all technical about it, then sure. Why, I should like to see this place for myself. I adore ghosts. <laughs> you do? Great. Let's check it out together. <sighs> That'll be way, way easier than checking it out all by myself. Even Prince Diamant turned me down, and he's not afraid of anything. Then pray bring me along. I can think of nothing that would make me happier. Okay. Yes! That settles it. Just don't blame me if you get scared out of your big pointy boots. Oh, okay. Are, are her boots pointy? <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a cliffhanger, alright. Alright, let's go beat people up. As long as it's not Tamara, all is fine. Alright. Who wants to get smacked around? Who wants to go to fucking crazy town and get beat the shit out of. Here we go. No holding back. I'm Fogata. Nice. Psalm's very own prince. All right, and you're gonna go down. 
strong. I can learn a lot from you. Somehow, I won. Yay. A! Or is that B? I'm not sure. It'd be really funny if that is A, though. That is A! Wow, Tamara and Fogato are our first A supports. Of all people. <laughs> it's a coincidence, that's for sure. Well, well. Training hard again, I see. Divine One, what are you doing here? I thought you agreed to forget what you saw. So, why did you come back? What happened in the B support? I'm sorry. I, I forgot. It's just, you've been training so hard and in secret. I thought you could use some company. <laughs> oh, oh I, I kind of remember. Worrying about yeah. me. How'd I get so lucky? Fogato, I'd like to do something nice for you. Uh, I appreciate the gesture, but I'm kind of a prince, so there's really not much I need. How about that dinner you wanted? Let's have a meal and get to know each other better. You want to have dinner? And uh, eat it together? I do. I can't say I'm not tempted. I mean, dinner with a dragon, but I can't right now. Sorry. You're turning me down? Ouch. <laughs> no, no, it's just... Dinner with you is like the ultimate reward. And I haven't earned it yet. I want to keep that carrot dangling for a while. Give myself something to strive for. I see. I just hope it lives up to your expectations. I'll be ready when you are. Thanks. Well then, it's back to work for me. Bringing the best banter and psalm to the Sentinels. And to my people. Okay. I almost just choked on my water. <laughs> for no particular reason. Alright, let's take a look at that new page. Alright. Height 510. So, ha, you're taller than me. Ring size 9, R3 force, whatever that means. Personality, cheerful and gregarious. I thought his name was Fogato. Fogato loves parties and having fun. He's also crafty and perceptive. He's the most unabashedly affectionate ally in the army. The most unabashedly affectionate? You sure? There's a lot of people who I would assume are more so, but whatever. All right, anyone but Tamara or Fogato. I'll be your opponent. I am Chloe, All right. Royal Knight of Firene. I'm not even sure we have your B support. You do zero damage, Chloe. This knight has met her match. You really Somehow have like I no won. strength, do you? A. Or I'm fairly sure that's B. Yep. All right, I remember where we left off here. You were talking about wanting to watch me sleep. Are you gonna apologize for being a weirdo? You slept for a thousand years. And when you woke, you were thrust into battle against the forces of evil. Yeah. You're the absolute picture of a fairy tale hero. Okay. Uh, am I? Oh yes, one doesn't meet people as extraordinary as you every day. Yours is not the average person's life. You are fated for exhilaration and excitement. Oh, how I wish it were mine. I don't know. I mean, you're part of the army, so... What? Why not? There are many burdens I must bear, and while I don't regret this life, you're absolutely right that my days will never be considered average. Sometimes, average seems like it might not be so bad. Mm hmm Oh... I'm really sorry about that. I was just so swept up in my own desire for a fairy tale life. I didn't stop to consider how someone already living one might feel. You don't have to apologize, Chloe. I know you didn't mean anything by it. I still feel a little guilty, though. Oh, I know. I'll bring you a special delicious treat as an apology. Oh. There's this rare pickled deep sea fish I've been into. It's sour enough to knock you flat. Pickled? I'll go fetch some right now. You're gonna love it. No need. Really. I'm getting queasy enough just picturing it. Sounds like a very acquired taste, but I like I like pickles. <laughs> pickles are good. Most other pickled things aren't so much though. 
from what I've had. I think I've had pickled sausage. Let's it's okay. Fuck's fun, sake. Shall we? No, this isn't fun because we have your A support. You're literally one of two characters I didn't want to fight. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this is definitely going to get harder to actually get supports from. Why am I not able to move? My left Joy-Con isn't working. Guess we gotta reconnect them. Yeah, what? Why is it not... <laughs> it's just not working. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? What in the world? Odd. I guess I'll try using the pink one, even though it's low on battery. That's why I swapped to the purple one, but whatever. Oh, it, it, they charge fast then, I guess. Alright. Go back in. There we go. That was weird. <laughs> All right. Let's go do the miscellaneous support things now then. It's like it's synced up to someone else's Nintendo Switch, but I would imagine there's not one within like any reasonable distance of me right now. So that's just weird. All right. Who are we going to force to swim together? Let's find a support combination that we haven't started. Ivy and Marin? Oh, that's Alfred. <laughs> okay. That's that's Alfred. That's not Marin. All right. Alfred and Ivy C. No idea what this will be about. Politics probably. What you doing up so late, Princess Ivy? Prince Alfred, I suppose it must seem rather suspicious for an illusion to be roaming alone after dark. I assure you, I have no plans to murder anyone or to set anything on fire. <laughs> of course, such assurances must mean little coming from me. Aw, oh, you don't seem so bad. I'm leaning toward trusting you by now. <laughs> oh? I am surprised to learn that the Crown Prince of Firine is so naive. If that's what I get for trusting people, then naive is my middle name. <laughs> hmm. So did you need something from me? If you were not here to doubt my motives, I would expect you to have left by now. Nah, I wouldn't leave you alone. <laughs> and why is that? Well, it's pretty plain to see that you're lost. <laughs> you think so? We're on the Somniel. How would she be lost? It's not very big. Mm, the Somniel's a big place. Lots of twists and turns. It's easy to get confused. Are you sure? Uh, I do confess I am somewhat lost. <laughs> if you're going where I think you're going, I know the way. Let me help you. Uh, thank you. Okay. So, moral of that support there is Alfred's a good dude. Alright. Yunaka Fogato? What other combinations? Yunaka Zelkov. Now that's what I'm talking about. Alright, Yunaka and Zelkov, C. Ugh, I'm not interested in playing your goofy game, Zelkov. Just tell me what you're after. Why, Yunaka, what game do you think I am playing? This feels like it's starting in the middle of something, even though this is the beginning of their support chain. The stalking game, by the look of it. Don't act like you don't know the rulebook backwards. So you've noticed, have you? How curious. You have the perceptive powers of a hunter. Do you perchance hunt for sport? Or for money? <laughs> <laughs> At last, the truth is written on your face. I'd suspected you made your trade in violence. That is why I've stalked you, as you put it, 
Suspicious persons ought to be observed. <sighs> okay, I'll admit it. You've got some chops. Now, what say we rattle your brains around a bit and see what shakes out? Oh my. Be gentle. You've got the same killer instinct I do. It practically oozes from your pores. Like slime. So tell me, have we had similar careers? That does appear to be the case. Okay. Great. Well, let's not speak of it again, okay? My work is in the past. I'm happily retired. <laughs> You're 22, if I, I remember have correctly. I my hands of that life. So we have that in common too, huh? Well, let's not make a thing of it. Look, here's me not making a thing. See ya. <laughs> okay. I feel like that just makes her more suspicious in this scenario, but whatever. Yunaka's gonna Yunaka, and that's fine. Alright. Oh, okay, we landed on Rosado. Are there any support chains of his that we haven't started? I feel like there's gotta be one or two. Yeah, Rosado Fogato. Their names even rhyme. Fuck! <laughs> well, that happens. I don't think I've ever fought with both of them at the same time. Maybe once or twice, but... Oh, we need to spin the wheel. Can't forget to spin the wheel. If I forget to spin the wheel, I'll... I'll... Jump off the Somnial. <laughs> Apparently that actually happens in the manga... Uh, they're making a manga for Engage. Sadly, they use Malalir, which is lame, but they have him fall off the Somnial in, like, the second chapter or something, which is kind of funny. All right, who's it going to be? My guess is, uh, Marin. Softly now. That is not Marin. But how soft must I be, exactly? It's Linden. Ugh. Will running water do it? No, it would seem not. Knocking on wood? How about burning wood? Why are you starting Nothing. fires in my room? The flames appear to be spreading. Dude! Oh my. <laughs> you fucking arsonist. <coughs> Good morning, divine one. Get out of my room. Uh, no, we are not under attack. <laughs> Begging your pardon. I will sort this with wind magic right away. All right. It's enough. Get out of my room, one then. Oh my god. Oh wait, I never checked, uh... I almost forgot. Um... We should have a new page on Chloe, if I'm not mistaken. Because we got her B support. Yeah. Hobbies, touring food stalls and leisure flights. Talents, long distance throws. Cool. Background, a young noble from a seaside town. She was raised to marry well, but she became a knight instead after meeting Celine by chance. Cool. Good for her. Alright, let's head to Felzinolog. And beat the shit out of Nil. <laughs> Hopefully this time he doesn't have 300 defense. Alright. You ready for the snail? Felzinolog 6, Fallen Somnial. Having lost Nell and the bracelets, the Divine Dragon journeys to a once floating island to find Nell. Here we go! Cracks knuckles, cracks neck, dies because I accidentally broke my neck. Seven bracelets. We still haven't seen the fucking Edelgard one. It's pretty Do obvious to he has innocent, it on him, but holding fast whatever. To the teachings you follow. Or will you seize victory, your hands stained with the blood of old friends? The most unbearable pain is now a fond memory, a desperate dream. But I know the truth. This is going to be an interesting map. In this world, there is no eternity. Now is the time to awaken. Okay, nerd. I am reminded of when we were young. 
You always slept deeper and later than me. I would anxiously wait for you to awaken. Outside, the world was full of foes. I could do nothing on my own. I could not transform, no matter how I wished for it. I was a powerless whelp, a failure. I was convinced I would not survive long. You had so little hope. So we heard in the fucking cutscene last episode from Sombron being like, I wonder how long Nil will keep up this farce of being Nell's twin. Or whatever. You are awake. I would advise you not to consider transforming and fleeing. Because it would make me mad. You will lose any part of you that moves from that spot. Please stop this, Nil. There is no reason to pursue power here. You cannot rule an empty world. You and I are all that remain. Power is purpose. This world means nothing to me. If it must be destroyed to achieve my ends, then so be it. But you would not understand that. You know nothing of weakness, of humiliation. That is all in the past. Your friends love you. Think of our time at Lethos Castle. All of us together, as a family. Thinking of that age of lies fills me with nothing but resentment. You cannot mean that. It is amusing to hear you say we were a family. The irony is so delicious, I simply must share. I am not your twin brother. <laughs> I took the place of young Nil when he and I were children. Oh, your name's not even Nil. Your precious twin? The one you so yearned to protect that you fled our father and risked all? He has been dead for quite some time. Okay. <sighs> Do you see it now? You are alone. Your beloved divine dragon, the four winds, your real twin brother, all gone. So then, what's your actual name? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? At last, we will face each other as true peers. And when that struggle finally ends... So are you able to transform or what? You can put an end to me. What? I have always been a miserable and lonely child. I cannot even recall the face of my own twin. Mm. I knew you would never forgive my deception. But for a time, I cherished being your new. You were so gentle and giving with me. <clears throat> so kind. I began to think of you as my one true sister. Even now, the memory of our time at Lethos Castle is priceless to me. But that treasure is a stolen one. And this pain... This pain is unbearable. So please... Please put an end to my misery. Huh. What is this, Nil? Tell me what is happening. No. Uh, no! Put an end to my misery? Pathetic! Laughable! Okay, what's going on? Father laid his hand upon my chest. He named me his true heir. I cannot stop until his ambitions are fulfilled. Surely that is what he intended me to achieve. No, he would not call me his heir otherwise. Perhaps it was a trick, or simple pity. I do not know. Curse this pain, it never ends! No, stay with me. I will prove my worth. I will avenge father, carry out his will, and become heir to the Fell Dragon legacy. So, the Somniel of this world has fallen. I guess I'm not surprised. Everything's the opposite here. Divine One, you came. Hello, Nell. I'm only here for Nell. Please. Let her go. Dispel the ward on the final bracelet and I will consider it. The ward? 
What are you talking about? On the Edelgard one? This is the bracelet of the three houses. I thought it was the bracelet of rivals. A ward has been placed upon it, so that none may access its power. It is a very strong one. The emblems within cannot be roused, nor can the bracelet be moved from this location. Oh. So the Somniel fell from the sky, but it didn't knock the bracelet loose. Must be frustrating. Quite. The Divine Dragon told me about the war just prior to the final battle against Father. It can only be broken by the one who placed it. And that fool is now dead. Mm. Which is why I could not become Father's true heir. Not even with all seven bracelets. It was your arrival that rekindled my hope. I have long anticipated this moment. Because I can remove the ward. You can. And you will. Or I will slay now. Do not do this, Divine One. I have to. For you, now. <laughs> There's no other options. Alright. Funny it's how they treat the fucking satisfied. three houses bracelet like it's the most special. <laughs> <laughs> they could have saved any bracelet for last. <laughs> the last of the bracelets is finally in my hands. Awaken, emblems! Grant me my desire! Hi, Edelgard. Last father. Wow, you I barely have look different. Finally succeeded. Oh, okay. Hmm. I've done what you asked. Now release Nell. Why would I do that? Now that I have what I want. Fell nil. <laughs> Monster! <laughs> you just noticed? <laughs> Farewell, wretched sister. No! That's quite enough! Oh, hi, Celestia. I knew you guys were still alive. What is this? Celestia! Gregory! Madeline! No Mavir? Are you injured, Lady Nell? My winds. Words cannot express my relief. I am glad to see you well. Wait. Where's Mavir? Divine One, Lady Nell. I'm so sorry. Mavir. Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Mavir is. What happened? The pillars have been destroyed. Now the temple will collapse. Goodbye, my dear family. Oh, and this was also <laughs> Mavir's plan. Uh, Mavir? Did you... Is that a warp staff? Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't he just warp... Well, he wouldn't be able to get out, right? Because it's not rewarp. Couldn't they just leave him in there and go get a rescue staff? Okay. Where's Celestia? Did you send her outside? This was always my intention. I see. Why should all of us die when only one of us need remain here? You idiot! You can't warp yourself out with that! Give it over. If anyone's staying behind, it's me. Poof. <laughs> Mary, you are Celestia's new second in command. Serve her well. Aw. Uh. Why didn't you tell us, Mavir? Madeline, I wish you the greatest happiness. I see now that protecting you was my... Go together. 
would not have to say this. Mom here. I love <laughs> There. Cut right off. It is done. <laughs> I am sorry I had to deceive you all. Aw. You were my family. And I am grateful for every day we spent together. But that time is over. Now you must carry on without me. I mean that does explain a lot. It's like Lady what Vale. I will be with you soon. She existed I mean obviously she did. Huh. Goodbye, Mavier. No. Mavier. I can't believe it. A selfless, heroic sacrifice. He was a true knight until the end. <laughs> I'm Some still a I dragon here! <laughs> one of you awful wits. How are you alive? Did you not see the flashback? No matter. You are all detestable in the eyes of Lord Sombron. And you will perish here! <laughs> Fucking Gregory's expression. No, no. <laughs> We won't let you follow in Sombron's footsteps. Ooh, new music. We'll stop you from becoming his heir, whatever it takes. Wins, no! Yes. You may have killed one of us, but we are still a mighty Tempest. I won't back down. Mavir would tell me to be brave as the new second in command. When my liege walks down the wrong path, it's my duty to stop them. I'll do what I must. All right. I cannot bear to lose any of you. Not one more person. Let this be our final battle. Brother. Okay. Yo. Music going crazy. It going absolutely fucking wacko though. Okay. This is gonna be a fucking crazy ass map if it's taking this long to load. Please. Oh, we're just right next you have to, him. to stop him. You can have all that remains of my power. Hi, Alir. This is so much. Thank you. I will not fail. Hey, liberation! Allies who are defeated in the Fel Xenolog will return after the battle is over. Don't worry about losing anyone. Go all out for victory. But what if I don't lose anyone? So we just have to defeat him when he's right in front of us. Fell nil. He is level 35. He's only got one revival stone, but 18 HP. 18, 80. Fell nil. Following the will of Sombron, he used the seven bracelets to transform into the great fell dragon. Great Fell Dragon, a Fell Dragon with the power of the Emblem Bracelets, wreaks havoc on the battlefield with powerful attacks. Fell Assault, Devastation, Drain Essence, Summon Vortex, Fell Beam. Bond Breaker Plus, makes enemy chain attack accuracy always 10%. Reduces damage taken. We can't chain attack him to death! Veteran plus prevents unit from being broken, negates damage from effectiveness. Oh, you're kidding. And he's just got a fuck ton of corrupted everywhere. Corrupted wyverns. Oh, we're gonna have to be super fucking careful. Oh, what the fuck? Alfred! Why are you back? And you got Hector. Oh, this is... Georgios? He drops that. Celine with Edelgard. And she drops Nova. What the fuck are these things? Do they have the other royals? Yep, Diamant with Veronica. Drops a Divine Fist Art. Is it worth it to go after them? Yeah, Alcrest with Krom. He drops a venomous. Oh, it's a vocal theme. Holy shit. Up. Oh. Tamara with um Camilla drops 
Ukon Vasara. Alright. But there's only seven bracelets, so one of the royals wouldn't be here, right? Or they'd at least not have a bracelet. Fogato with Tiki. And he drops Linda Bear. Hmm. Oh, yep, Hortensia is the one without one. She just drops a Fortify Staff. And Ivy right over there with Soren. And she drops Notice. That refills engage meters? But you can only use it once. That's insane. I kind of want all these items. I kind of want to beat the shit out of all of them. Even though we start right next to nil. We have a lot of units. Nine plus five. Yeah, we get 14 units. Alright. Who do we want to bring? We can put in nine. Right? No. Can we only put an 8? Yeah, we can only put an 8. Do we just put in copies of the Royals? For the hell of it? I feel like that's gonna be way too much magic, though, between, you know, Zelestia, Gregory, Saline, Hortensia, and Ivy. But you know what? Fuck it. Alfred, Hortensia, Alcrest, Celine, Ivy, Diamant, um, Fogato. Who am I missing? Tamara. I'm just blind as shit. Alright. There's our units. Emblem rings. Alright. I want to try using all of the bracelets. I could match up the bracelets to the, uh, that, that would just be funny. Should we do that? I'm, I'm gonna play this funny. Fogato had... Oh, no, I'd have to separate... No. Okay. Uh, who did Alchrist have? Alchrist had Krom. So we'll, we'll give Krom to Fogato. Krom! I've got this! Alright. Diamant has Veronica. Veronica! Celine has Edelgard. That's just weird, but we'll do it. Edelgard! Alchrist and Tiki, Hortensia, no. <laughs> we'll get back to her. Alfred has Hector. Hector. Tamara has Camilla. Camilla! Alright. So Nell's gonna keep Corin for sure. Who should we give Hortensia? Since she doesn't really keep one. Out of all the royals, she's the one that doesn't have one of the bracelets. Let's give her... Let's give her Lucina. Lucina! And then we'll give... Nell keeps Corrin. Gregory's gonna get Byleth. Byleth! Let's go. Madeline. Madeline could have Ike. Sir Ike! Zelestia. I'm gonna give Zelestia Sigurd. Sigurd! Leave it to me. And I'm gonna give a Lear then. Lynn, let's go. Alright. Save. I do not wanna lose anybody. <laughs> We're doing this. This terrain is unstable. We should hurry toward that island to the northwest. Oh, you want me to move anyway, so northwest, got it. Defeat fell nil or don't. Alright. Let's get moving. Oh fuck, there's a bow user right there. We definitely have to be careful. And there's a lot of shit in the way. Ready and able. Alright, you kill that. You have fucking Excalibur. That's awesome, but we'll just Bulgan on him. Dodge that tomahawk, or don't. Nice. I'm ready. Ooh, that's that's rough. 
We could just automatically engage and, you know, bait. Alright. Who shall you summon? Let's summon a green unit. It is time to honor your car. <laughs> Give me Camilla. That'd be fantastic. We got an Axe Cavalier. Well, that's certainly better than nothing. Ooh, you have very low accuracy. But that's like the only guy you can hit, so just try. Nice. And you smash them. Perfect. Whatever you need. All right, Gregory. Scalibur, why not? Dodge the spear or don't. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we got a rescue staff. My will is firm. All right, Celine can go there. We do have. S oh, I didn't switch out items. Doesn't matter. We'll be okay. All right. Um, Physic Gregory, because why not? Yeah, paint's gone. By all, all right, means. Madeline. Yes. Now, Dragon Vein. Let's put Fog up. Hortensia. Physic. Ivy. Much improved. Hey, World Tree. Love that. As you wish. Alcrest. We could just stay out of his range. Ready for anything. Tamara. What dragon vein do you get? Oh, you get stone. Fuck yeah. Alright, it's probably How safe exciting. to go that way then. Alright, let's put Celestia there. Nice. Nice. Fogato there. I don't want to attack him just in I'm case. Ready. Alfred. I can fight. And Alir. All right. What is he doing? Oh, is he fucking up the terrain? Oh, he just whiffed and hit nobody. All right. The Bow Knights are going after the Cavalier for some reason. I mean, if they kill him, they kill him. Yeah, they're gonna kill him. Alright, whatever. Goodbye, Cavalier. And you're going after Saline. Nice. Ooh, dragons. Uh-oh. What just happened? Enemy reinforcements will be coming from that vortex. Let us disrupt it, and all others like it. Okay. Summoning vortexes. Enemy reinforcements will appear on these vortexes at the start of the next player phase. You can keep a vortex from summoning foes by positioning a unit to occupy the vortex's space. Oh, so there's one under Diamant? Yeah. But let's not worry about that. Alright. Beat the shit out of this dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did you see that, Mavir? Nice. Diamant should be able to take care of this dude. He can also hit the gabajibada, but we're not doing that. Alright, yep, silver sword. We gotta get rid of the lag in this area. After that. You what? That's one of Veronica's kill lines? My I don't think we've killed very many enemies with this, frankly. Um, what's Thoron the dude? He can't fight back, after all. It's only a silver bow, not a long bow. Would it be worth it to, um... 
take care of this dude. I don't think anyone... Yeah. Gregory can reach them. So he might as well hit that one. Nice. Hortensia can elf under him. Nice. Alright, Ivy. Can she kill this dude? No, she can't. And I don't exactly want him to attack her. So let's wait there. Um. The Sakor. Sakor here doesn't reach Saline. So let's just stone. I don't think anyone can reach us, but still. Oh, Zelestia can reach this guy. Does she kill him? No. But she can Thor on them. Let's Thor on that one since he's further. Nice. Oh yeah, and she has this, so that's helpful too. Alright. Okay. We move as one. Alright. No one's in attack range, so they're just gonna do a lot of moving. You keep on swapping. <laughs> I know that's how that works. Oh, Hortensia's coming. As is Ivy. Isn't there a different royal in the way first, though? Yep, there's the enemies. So we're gonna have to beat them as we fight backwards, huh? Oh yeah, Fogato's right there. Right. He's gonna be a rough one, because he's got Tiki. At least he doesn't have Veronica this time, and is just constantly spawning dudes. Alright. Let's make our way out of here. Definitely don't want to... Okay, I think Madeline's gotta stay back a little, but we're just not gonna move her yet, actually. We could engage Gregory. And maybe take care of those armor it knights over there. Engage. Yeah, Excalibur takes care of him. And we can stack Dragon Banes, too. Um, Zelestia. She should be able to kill this th guy. Oh, Thoron's her only ranged attack. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, we definitely don't want her getting hit by Fogato, because he's got bows. <laughs> you know? Yeesh. We have Celine down here. Christ. This is certainly a position to be in. <laughs> Alright. Dead. Hmm. If we send Hortensia there- yeah, no, nothing happens. That's not a smart thing to do. Alright, um... Take care of some of these fucks. Get them out. <laughs> 106 total damage. I'm sorry. Are you? You don't sound it. Haha. <laughs> Alright, you can take care of that guy. 100. Oh, Fogato is a better unit, I guess. I had no choice but to win. Do you not have a spear? No, you do. 
It's not- you're not gonna do much to these guys, though. You have an Armor Slayer? No. Diamant does. And he can reach where Alfred is. I'm gonna put Alfred there. Armor Slayer kills. Fantastic. Nice. I am ready for a rest. Okay. You're not gonna get a rest. Sorry. Alright, so this dude's a halberdier, right? Yeah, but we can get some easy damage on him with range attacks. Hortensia can probably kill him. Oh, he's not a halberdier. My bad. Do you have a spear? No. Yeah, Hortensia can kill him. She probably could have killed him from much higher. Yeah, Elwyn one-shots him. I say we, uh, reverse one. We have Hortensia take complete care of this fool. Yep, perfect kill. Nice. Alright. So now we're safe down here, but I'm not sure I want to be. Um... If I stand here and Vein of Stone upward, yes, that's good. And... You... Don't have Thoron. Does this guy have a fucking He has a Tomahawk. That's what that's why he can attack Ivy. Hmm. Do you just kill? No, you can't reach him. Shit. Let's put her there. And what's Dragon Vein? Fog. Put a Weir there. And who hasn't moved? Madeline. Yeah, she's gonna just stay out of range of everything. Not worth risking shit. Okay, skip that. You keep on completely missing. <laughs> I hope you're aware. Oh god. Celestia might be in a rough spot right now. Oh no, she's fine. She's fine. No one else can reach her, I don't think. Alright, Fogato's coming. He's attacking Celine. I'm not scared. I've died twice now. Once more more time. Okay. Uh-oh. Please dodge one, Celine. Bullshit. The fight for peace. Hi, Hortensia. And who do you go against? Everyone's Alfred. gone. Even the divine dragon. And no one's coming back. Okay, you do like nothing. Maybe I should place the fog elsewhere since it did not help Zelestia. Seemingly. So I need to go back to where Celine moved. Ugh. I mean, if I'm already going back that far, let's go to Zelestia and just do the whole turn over again. So yeah, you're gonna go there. We already know that. We could potentially ignore the dudes down here. Or kill them differently. Oh my, Liberation does damage. Sick. I won't forget you. It's fucking glowing, even. Nice. Alright, um... If we engage you... 
You can go beat the shit out of Fogato. Rider's Bane does not kill him. Are you joking? Literally one off. Can I momentum boost that? I can. No, it's still 34. Oh, she doesn't have momentum. Hurt her. How, do, how can I increase her damage? I'm not sure I can. Fuck. Most I can do is like a chain attack. Or I override him. If I override him, does that kill? No, it's still 34. I'd have to do a little bit more damage to him. I could bolting him from afar. Is that worth it? I don't know how worth it that is. Fogato doesn't have a Radiant Bow and also can't really reach anyone. So since he's got more movement, I'm gonna have him do this instead of Alcrest. Oh, he actually does the same amount of damage as Alcrest now. Huh. Alright, um... Hortensia can kill this dude. Easily. No, she can't. Why not? What? What's different? I know what's different. It's fucking Alir's passive. Right. Oh, she's just critting anyways. So it didn't really matter, but whatever. Hmm. If I engage right now, I can bolting somebody. Engage. That does no damage. <laughs> she would not be happy about that. I can bolting him. Is that the most effective use here? Because then I can... Well, no. He's going to come over anyways, so... I feel like we shouldn't even do that. Let's assign Gregory as a decoy, because he's in a tree. Let's put Nell here, Dragon Vein, Vein of Fog, and Vein of Stone. Perfect. So now he's got a shit ton of avoid. Oh, that overwrites the fog. I can't stack them. Erder. So 60 avoid. Yeah, that's plenty. That's fine. Why can't he get to that guy now, though? Hmm. What's blocking us? The fog? Does fog decrease movement? If fog decreases movement, then yeesh, but I don't think it does. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this will work. Oh! Sandstorm crap. Okay. Who's next? Yo, that's not something you see every day. We'll put Alfred there. Um, Celine can only heal there. So that's just kind of silly. Oh! If I contract you. He can't hit anyone else. But he can... Not do anything, actually. <laughs> so that was a waste. 
Do you have the longbow? You do. You do no damage. So that's fine. All right, wait there. Oh, Hortensia's in enemy range. That's probably not great. What does that even do? I think it damaged a Leer. Mess. Die. Die. Each battle, a chance to grow. All right. So they're all gonna target Gregory, no matter what. Everyone's. Oh, Gregory's actually gonna straight kill Hortensia. I knew it would end like this. Perfect. Goodbye. It's over. Maybe now we can all be together again. Maybe Ivy will finally be glad to see me. Rest well. Hey, we got a fortify staff. Uh, I, I think we'll send that fortify staff to the convoy to make way for the fortify staff. Is Fogato even gonna attack? Oh, he's actually not. Huh. Well, that's... something. If I move Gregory there... Fell Sigil, Avoidance plus 30, and Skill Effects. But we can't go on that. Can Flyers? No. That's not a thing I can even touch. Alright, let's... Well, honestly, the dudes over there are much bigger problems. Oh, that... T cataclysm damage. Five. I'm so scared. Rider's Bane kills you. Oh my god, Rider's Bane annihilates you, actually. Yeah, I'm cool with this. If this love is a crime. And we'll have you... Stay in the tree. All right, yeah, Excalibur him. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have that much HP. If I bolting him right now, does he die? No. I don't need to engage. Cataclysm damage there is also trash. But just in case she does attack us, let's put on Excalibur. Oh, please dodge that. Ah! That's rough. We can physic her, it's fine. You do, like, no damage. Oh, boy. I think we have to Astro Storm. Uh, Fogato. Just to get him out of here. Yep, he's dead. Perfect. Divine one! It's been a while. Last I saw you was our little tip at Lethos Castle. Shut up, nerd. The figure? That was me. Though I was pretty swirly since Nil had just corrupted me. I see. You know what Nil did to you and you still want to fight for him? Why? It's a golden opportunity! How else am I gonna do all the things I missed out on in life? And being corrupt, it's not all bad. Your desires take center stage with nothing in the way. No empathy, no shame. I can kill you without a scrap of remorse. Uh, too bad. <laughs> Lol. I've got a feeling this one will stick. Rest well, Fogato. Hey, we got Linda Bear. Alright. Um hmm. 
Now that we're pretty safe there... Ooh, actually, would you kill Celestia? I feel like I fucked up doing what I did with Celestia. Um, and Ivy already moved. So I can't assign decoy. Um... We're gonna do this. If I assign decoy right here... Then... You'll go after him. And that's fine. We can still Astro Storm, um, Fogato, though, and he'll die. As if I blew. <laughs> <laughs> Just skipping through it all. It's so funny. Alright, um. Let's put Madeline there. I don't want to move her too far. They do a good chunk of damage to me. Let's wait there. Hmm. Diamond. Let's put Diamond right there. Now... Aw, oh, come on. It doesn't reach Gregory. Hmm. Fog doesn't reach him, obviously. Vines. Sucker. Flame. Ice. Hmm. Wait. No, that's not helpful either. I feel like the best thing I can do is fog right here. Yeah, nothing she can really do here. Alcrest. Alcrest can't do anything either. Tamara. No use there either. So let's just Vein of Stone. And Hortensia should be able to Physic, um... Saline. Uh, thank you. Alrighty, what's next? We have not used Fogato yet. Hurt her. Alright. Alright, throw it at me. Devastation. When a fell sigil begins to glow, that means fell nil intends to move there after destroying the area he's currently standing in. Oh. The blast will occur on the next enemy phase. All units caught in the area, friend or foe, will be defeated. Oh. The more units fell nil defeats in this way, the more his power will grow. Oh. So he's planning on going there. Alright, good. The Bow Knight went after Gregory, that's all I needed. You're going after Celestia. I should be overjoyed to see a child of the fell dragon awakened. Why do I feel so empty? Hm. I will dispose of you. Good luck with that. <laughs> Five. And you have Elf Thunder, and you miss, because you're stupid. Okay, so he's gonna destroy this area. So we just need to get everyone out of it, which is right now just Fogato. Not a problem. Alright, let's get to business. Where's Tamara, by the way? Was she over here somewhere? That's Diamond. I think she was down here. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she's on the complete opposite side of the map from fucking, um... Fogato. That's why I was confused.
Wait, Alcris? Why is Alcris a sword user? What? Alright, let's not worry about it. Rider's Bane. You're dead. There is nothing to fear. Then backpedal. Don't falter. Gregory. Right there, you can kill. Oh, you can kill them as well. Yeah, you might as well. Clear our way a little. I forgot you're engaged. I was intending to use Thoron, but I don't think you have that right now. Alright, um... Ivy versus Ivy doesn't really do much for us. If I put you there... Right, you... I'm stupid. Alright, let's just get rid of them. Bam. Unforgivable. That's a dead bow knight. Now, can probably get real close. Fell Arcana. Hmm. She has bolting, so she actually can't fight back. Hello, Ivy. Nice. Now we just need a good long-range attack to kill her, and Saline's got me. exactly that. Alright, Thoron. Better mage character incoming. Ripperoni, Ivy. It's too late for me to repent. I wish I could apologize to Hortensia. You will in the afterlife. Notice! Holy shit, they're hacking, guys. They're they're hacking, they're hackers. Oh my god. Alright, um... Do you really not kill him? You don't kill him with either of these. Why? That's fucked. Alright, I'm actually gonna be tricky here. Because you break me, I'm killing you. A battle fit for Brodia. Nice. And we should be able to take care of you pretty easily as well. Um, actually, I think Tamara would just kill him, right? Or at least get really close. No, not really. I mean, she does damage, at least. Let's have some fun. No, she kills him. <laughs> but why did I ever doubt her? <laughs> she actually didn't, but it's fine. Um, Silver Lance kills him. Me first. I win this one. Go, Alfred. All right. Um. Oh, Longbow actually does some damage. Well, we'll do it. Lunacret. 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 God damn it, Alcrest. The one time. All right, Madeline. Hortensia doesn't quite get him, so let's um recover Gregory. Thank you. All right, and that leaves Fogato, who can just go there. All right. It's moving time, bitch. <laughs> I know. All right, so that part's gone. We can no longer return there. Got it. That was unsettling. Had I been standing there, I would have certainly perished. 
Yeah, the game told me that. Nils seems to be drawing power from those he kills in this way. Uh huh. It may be worth the risk to reduce the number of foes on an island before it falls. All right. You're going after Diamant because you have no self-preservation instincts. A proud victory. Rescue. Uh oh. Oh, you missed an 80%. How's it feel? Okay, he's summoning new dudes. That's perfectly fine. Alir, Liberation should kill. How Silver Sword kills, but we'll Liberation him anyways. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. Nice. So what's his specific range? That's gonna be really hard to play around. I guess since no one else can really get there, let's just stop him from being able to do that. Zelestia can get there, which is helpful. I'm here. I don't know if anyone can reach that, but it's not a big deal. Madeline. Uh, Nell. Celine. Ivy. Ivy can get there. That's your command. Gregory. And Hortensia. So we can't exactly get terribly far, and Alfred can move one square. <laughs> ah, I'm a dragon. Oh, they're both cannoneers. Crazy. I'm sorry. Alchrist, gig 11 sword damage. Yeah, okay. All right, you're going down. I'm not dealing with cannoneers. No. You put up a good fight. Sawi. You don't quite reach him. Oh no, you do. You do reach him with Al Thunder. Perfect. Can you just kill him outright? Not quite. Hi, Alchrist. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You do have a bow, which is scary. We can't kill him. I mean, we are not fighting now. Or, no. I keep on fucking up. Alright, um... What, what does he have? Again? Silver bow. Then what I'll do is I'll Thor on him at a distance, and then next turn hit him with the sword. Am I dead? Me? The brilliant future king? That's not possible. And yet, how are you here? Haha. Uh -huh. Stupid. Alright. Um, ooh, no. Giga Eleven Sword can reach that. Who's that? That's Alfred. Let's just go there. Alright, Tamara can get there. That reaches Diamant. Perfect. Jeez, this is a bit of a rough spot. Does Bolting kill Alcrest? Yeah, no. It should kill that guy. Hell yeah. Get rid of them. I 
Mediocre. Good one, Ivy. All right, Cannoneers, dead. Should we just cross in front of him? Deal with it? I don't know how safe that is. It might be better to just stay out of the range. Move everyone a little closer. Might as well do that. I don't see why not. Alright, doing Fell Beam. Oh god, that really hurt Diamant. Oh lord. Well, this is bad. If I die here. Well, Alchrist killed Diamant. Oh, Tamara can fly. T Tamara can just walk on water. That's... Yeah, that's normal. Alright. I can't believe we need to go back to where Diamant attacked. Which is the beginning of the fucking turn. So you spawn in these dudes. Alright, um... We gotta get rid of Alcrest then. Whatever that takes. Grant me strength. Alright, if I hit him with bolting, that does eleven damage. Which is damage, that's for sure. Don't mess. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Absolute bullshit. How do we reach him? No being in the way is a fucking big deal, actually. We could just put a fuck ton of fog down. No, can we? No can't. No can't reach. Does anyone have a rescue staff? Yes, Gregory does. And Gregory can get exactly to where Alir is. Nice. Hello, Nell. All right, Dragon Vein, Vein of Fog, poof. All right, hit him with Elwind. Only problem is Giga Eleven Sword does, it has 100% accuracy. No apologies. So that's sort of rough. But, Here's a consideration. We have this. Green. Come, come. And we get a Berserker Fabrication. Nice. And I can take care of this dude. Yeah. Is that worth doing though right now? We're gonna be able to later. He does hardly any damage. But he would have 10 HP left, which means I just need to hit a bolting somewhere. Am I dead? Nice. Alright. If I go right here... Engage. Bolting should have engage. higher accuracy. Oh wait, Cataclysm? Doesn't reach him. 
No, it's 68 again, so that's gonna miss, isn't it? No, I had some. Can't be. Good. I cannot disgrace myself any further now. I'm sorry I wasn't a good brother to you. Damn Ripperoni. Goodbye, Alcrest. And we got Venomous. Which is certainly something. Alright, just in case anyone attacks us, we'll do that. I'm willing to take that risk. All right. Nice. All right, he's using Fell Beam. It's gonna hit a lot of us, isn't it? No one dies, though. Right? No one dies, yep. All right, they're going after my fabrication, which is good. All right, so yeah, no one did die, right? So we should have... God, we have so... I should have brought Micaiah. So we should still have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, everyone survived. Dark Inferno reaches? Girl! I can't put Hortensia anywhere where she can hit this dude. We're gonna have to take care of you then. This way. And we're gonna have to like Thoron or Bolting it. Alright. We're gonna need to do some suckers. Won't give in. Hmm. It's fine. Dodge. God damn it. You poor thing. Hmm. Wait, you have a longbow. Oh, perfect. What a pain. Nice. Alright, so we have a lot of units who are really low. And I mean a lot of units who are really low. <sighs> Let's put a weir there. The fight is not yet done. Let's put you there. You there. Please, don't worry. You there. Oh, he's just got straight up life sphere. Forgot about that. Fortify. Oh, that reaches a lot more people than I thought it would. A little rough here. All right, Tamara, go there. Defense. Someone else needs to have Fortify. Saline doesn't have it. Nice. Alright, that gets everyone to fall, essentially. Perfect. Alright. Ivy's bolting reaches that guy, which is good. 
That's a very good thing. All right. Good. We need to get past him, like, right yeah. now. Eldritch Blast? Hi, Tamara. I'm not doing this out of malice. It's just that I have a duty to fulfill. As the last queen of soul. Alright. Whatever. You've been naughty. Oops. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Berserker. Okay, he didn't even attack. That's good. We need to get away from him. He's trying to summon dudes. He should... Yeah, he's summoning one. That's fine. Alright, let's take care of Tamara. At least as best we can. This does a good chunk of damage. Bolting probably kills her. That was a lot, actually. Did you know that? Alright, wait there. Fogato kills this guy. Perfect. We need to start moving, moving, though. We need everyone through here. Because whenever he decides to break this platform, that's problem territory. You know? This is a good position. Bolting kills the Wyvern. Nice. It's a terrible state of affairs. Soren's lines are so fucking funny. I'll do my best. Alright. Hortensia should be able to kill Tamara. Yes. Uh, she could probably even kill with Elf Thunder from here. Yes. Get lost. No, I lost. How? I feel it. I feel the desert sun on my face. Finally, Mom. I'm coming home. See ya. Yay, Ukon Basara. However, that helps us. All right, let's get rid of these flames and replace them I'll with fog. You. Nope, don't attack him. Let's go. Hmm. Just wait. Madeline can go there. Alfred can go there. Celine. Ciao. Ciao. Just in case. Staff. If I use Fortify, who does that affect? Basically just Tamara. So it's fine. We'll just wait. Oh, he's planning on fucking... No! That was way sooner than I thought it would be. That was... That's definitely way too soon. Can we even get everyone out of there? Oh, lord. We might not be able to. No, we certainly cannot. Most of them are dying. We can't even backpedal. Yeah, we lose. Because Nell can't even get out. Or Alir. We have to go back several turns then. We have to go back to where we fucking entered this area. 
We have to go to here. Just to not lose. We have to go faster. Which is insane to me. Fight. Kill her bow, please, Praka. I hope this yes! is enough. I'll apologize later. Good. Diamant can actually let's put Diamant there. I'm straight up gonna put you there. In vein of stone. Alfred. Fogato. Ivy. We don't want our flyers to take up more space than they have to. Essentially. Like, if they can stay in the water, they're gonna. I'm not even sure Nell will be able to get through. We can definitely keep Zelestia up here. Saline. And Alir. Might as well call doubles. Hi. Again, Alcrest. <laughs> nice one damage chain attack. All right, I think we have three turns to get everyone past here. And Alcris put himself in a really advantageous spot for us. So let's get as many people onto the other side as possible. Nice. Did it hurt? All right, Tamara's in a good position now. You don't kill unless I regular sword you, which is probably worth it. Dodge. Fuck. Rescue. Not him. Yep, and he doesn't even fight back. Nah, you, you have to keep going. If someone can make it, they should. Get rid of everyone. Alir can make it there. So Alir's gonna make it there. Ivy can go there. Alcrest can make it there and kill Alcrest. My Say goodbye, me! This can't be. I cannot defend. All right, Vinamus. Gregory, I'm actually gonna, I can probably spam rescue on slower units. But yeah. All right, Dragon Vein, Stone. That gets most of us.
All right. He's probably gonna beam. Yep, that range. That shouldn't kill anyone. Nope. Good. All right, you're going after Zelestia. That's perfectly fine. Oh, Mage Cannon here, going after Tamara. Lol. Alright, here comes their Tamara. Dark Inferno reaches here. do so much fucking damage! Wait, what if I Dark Inferno by myself? Um, right here. I mean, it works, but is that worth it? Let, let's wait on moving Tamara. Alright, Spear you. Nice. Oh god, yeah, so many people are weakened. Alright, um, fortify right now. Perfect. If I put Ivy right here, engage. Um, attack with bolting. I do good damage to that guy, so we're gonna hit him. Can we do a Veronica engage? Yes. Not a worry. We'll do it right here. I don't care which kind. It is time. We got a paladin. That's helpful. Oh, he's got a smash weapon, because of course he fucking does. Barely a scratch. If I put Zelestia there... If I put Zelestia here... Dark Inferno reaches, but we can get right out easily. Alright. Silver Sword... Ooh, you do a lot of damage. Thoron kills. Nice. Thoron at point blank range. Sir. Ready for more orders. Oh, even better. Better spot. I'll do my best. We don't want to get hit by Dark Inferno if we don't have to. Ready for anything. If we Dark Inferno right here. That I'm slows her down this. and kills the Wyvern. Say night night. Perfect. I will not be deterred. Here until the end. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he's got Life Sphere. It's fucking Bucket! See if I care. It's exactly why I put him there. Ha! You missed. And you're gonna mage cannon your Tamara. Oh god. <laughs> she got chain attacked by their Tamara. And you're going after Alir? 
Or just a whole group. Oh Is fuck. Really? That kills. No! This Oh that that kills everyone except for That doesn't kill Alir's the only person Okay. So we put Alir here instead. We're gonna physic her. Because I don't wanna lose. Alright. We're doing fine. They're gonna do this to my fabrication again. But they miss because they suck. I'm surprised Tamara doesn't just go for Tamara. But whatever. I mean, that's what I did. Alright, you're going after Fogato now. Okay, that kills my fabrication, but that's it. That's fine. Nice. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna move. Oh, no, he's not yet. Okay. That's good. So we still need to take care of their Tamara. I'm actually gonna move these guys up this way. That makes the most sense to me. Here goes. That guy, I can have Hortensia kill. Works perfect. So that's one less kill he gets. Hmm. Shall we? If I engage with you, that means you get 11 sword, and you have pretty decent damage. So, hell yeah. Yeah! Miss. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. Nice. And who's that? Some halberdier. Doesn't matter. Silver Lance does the most. Alternatively, you can get Wolf Bale, which kills. Yeah. We'll have to fight our way through. Yes, that's what we've been doing, actually. Good job realizing that. Alright, get rid of the fire. Thoron does good damage. Chain attack, of course, misses, but it's fine. Uh, I'm actually gonna have you wait there. I'm ready. Diamant should be able to take care of her. No, in fact, he's not able to at all. Where's I will okay. play for you. Dragon Vane. Vines, just get rid of the f fire. Please. All right. Oh, Bolganone doing the big damages. But that's fine. Bolting, I can only hit two targets and neither die, so we'll just do this. Me first. Nice. Mediocre. Mediocre indeed. I'll do my best. We need Alcrest to get through, like, without a doubt. She kills if we miss the crit. And if she hits us. It's probably safer to just have him wait, because he has Life Sphere.
We can't fish for a crit on her. This does the most damage, though. Ow! The big damage numbers! Okay, we need to take care of Tamara. I, I don't know how much the fire matters. Damage per, per turn minus 10. That shouldn't matter. I mean, getting rid of it's definitely a good idea. But Sakor would be the best at getting rid of that and for increasing movement. Wait. That's good, but I'm not sure how good. I'm here. <laughs> Seems good so far. And then Alcrest can get the kill with a longbow. Yes. Me first. Not done. No. I lost. How? Rip. I this time it. for good. All right, and now you can kill this guy. Nice. It's a terrible state of affairs. All right. And you can go there. All right, he's about to move. Uh, Hortensia is in a position, that's for sure. All right, yep, everyone can get out. Good. Armor Slayer? No. But we can do good damage still. Lol. Gregory, I think, needs to... Oh no, no, everyone can get out. We're fine. All right, Thoron. Okay, sure. Go ahead and miss. See if I care. Hortensia gets up there. Madeline gets there. Eleven sword kills. <laughs> All right. Nice. Let's go, douche. Low. I like how the emblem pools stay for your flyers. <laughs> nice. This time, victory was mine. All right, you're going after Celine, which is real silly. Of you. Okay, but you hit both times, which is. Silly of me. Oh, that that breaks. Hurt her. Well, whatever. Okay, hi, Alfred. 
Hortensia's in such a shitty spot, what the fuck? She can escape it, though. Yeah, she can get right here. And she can physic Celine. What good fortune. Yeah. Amazing fortune. This is a rough spot. So Celine's right over there. Oh my god, 66 with houses unite. If I can, I shall. That's kind of bad. All right, we're we're going to backpedal a little bit. All flowers eventually wilt. And I'm going to heal you. I guess with recover. I don't know. What a joyous feeling. I wonder if I can Astro Storm um Celine. Oh, there are so many dudes. All right, engage. Lend me your strength. Astro Storm. We can take down any of those guys that we like. We let's get rid of that that guy. No, I have you. I don't like him. <laughs> Goodbye, Swordmaster. I'm not dealing with random enemy crits. Alfred can come in on us if he wants. I don't. I don't care. Okay, yeah, we have a dude right here to take care of. Madeline, do you think you can handle him? You do a good amount, and you break him. So that's good. Alright, Bulgan on that dude. Nice. We need someone to stay back. I guess Zelestia, because she's got a fuck ton of movement. Alright, attack with Thoron. Say goodbye to your breathing privileges. The winds are victorious. And then go there. You might as well kill this guy. Chain attack's gonna do it, but whatever. How about that? Good job, Robin. As you wish. All right, Alcrest. Um, we're gonna do a sucker, because a lot of us have at least a little bit of missing HP. All right. Hello, Alfred. You're standing in a place where I can shoot. I'm so happy. Everyone's here. Just like the old times. The truth is, I'd always hoped that we could be friends. This ends now. Oh! <laughs> what what fucking item did he use? 3,500 individual combats. Well, that's something. Alright, um, there are so many fucking wyverns now, it's actually getting ridiculous. Alright, and he's spawning even more guys. I'll manage. This is rough. For peace. Alright, shield gambit. I don't think we can easily take care of any of this. Oh my god. Yeah, houses unite. Oh lord. Do you kill that guy? No, but you do decent damage. I would like it if you killed him. Okay, this works. We just need safety. 
We need a place that we can just, you know, run to. I need the fog. This kills him. And we have more space to work with. Hortensia's in a fucking abysmal spot. Like, really, really bad spot. Does anyone else have a rescue staff that they can use? Do you? No. Eehehe. <laughs> Do you? You can't use staves. But I think you have one. Yes. No, not, not Tamara. Trade with Ivy. Give me the Boganone. You can have Rescue. She's gonna have to move first. That's fine. Nice. Get her right out of there. She was in a rough spot for a while. Um, Veronica would be nice right now. And here comes Madeline. Hopefully she doesn't get caught behind. Oh, he's doing a foul beam for no reason. Doing zero damage to zero people. Feel free. You gotta break your way through. Oh, Lord. They're breaking their right through. Yeah! Ugh. Alfred's gone! Now I can finally be with everyone again. In that beautiful flower field. Divine Dragon. I'm... Rest in peace, Alfred. Thank you for the Yorios. All right, but this is still bad. We understand why this is bad, right? Do we know why? Oh, Come shit. Me, hero. Come on, Diamant. You can't just do this to me. Is that Marth and Celica? You can't just summon two. Yep, that's Celica, and that's Marth, all right. Oh, fuck. Well, this is rough. If I Excalibur, it gets rid of him. But we care less about what's going on down there. We care way more about what's going on up here. So can we... Who's got a really good engage skill? If I... If I Torrential Roar, what do you have? You have Elfire. Torrential Roar doesn't kill Saline, but it's going to stop so oh, many people from moving. No more responsibilities or pressure or anything. All I need to do is cut these weeds. Weed. My path is certain. Nice. All right. Oh, God, that dragon up there is going to be a pain in the ass. Or is it? 
Yep, perfect. See ya. And I don't think those three up there can reach yet. Oh fuck, Celica can reach. Seraphim is affected against Corrupted. That's fine. We can rescue him out, technically. We have to get rid of this guy. If you engage... Please grant me your strength. I don't think the combat arts do much. If this crits, that's good. Which it did not. So we're not gonna attack with Saline there. We're gonna back up. <laughs> the most Madeline can do is get right there. She can override this line. But it doesn't kill either of them, so we're not gonna do that. We're going to instead... Thor on that guy. And then back up. We're going to Excalibur this dude. He'll die. Rest now. Perfect. You also have Excalibur, right? You have Elwind. That works fine. Nice. Um, Diamant can get here. Depending on what he gets, that'll be helpful, but I want someone with Come potential rage. Bow or magic, bow. Perfect. This is fascinating. Yep, get rid of Saline. She's gotta go. I'm not letting her stand around with that fucking Edelgard bracelet. Lost. I die with pride and dignity as the last of the fear and hate oil family. Mother. No, I was happy. Ripperoni. That leaves Diamant. Alright. So, these guys. These two have to go. Somehow. If I stand right here, I can shoot down the wyvern. Which is good. Allow me. I can help. Nice. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. You can kill this guy with Excalibur. It's a 75%, but it worked, so I didn't run away this time. No, you didn't. That's good. Alchrist might be able to kill with Killer Bow. 31%. Do it. Okay. That's a bit rough. Spear kills, though, so that's good. Nice. I win this one. And I feel like we should rescue Fogato because I don't know how much um these other attacks are gonna do. Who's got a rescue staff that I can even reach? Nobody. 
Hmm. Then the most I can really do is pray. Because <laughs> no one's got one. Fallen Star doesn't... No, Fallen Star doesn't reach. We don't have Dark Inferno right now. I could potentially stand here and shield Gambit. She might... Wait. No, we don't have an Obstruct Staff. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Alright, now he should be fine, then. You're going after... Saline. Perfect! Dumbass! Alright, and you're going after... Ivy. Perfect. Alright. This is good. Let's handle the situation up here. Can we one-shot Diamond? No. And Thoron, we die. If we engage... Emblem, engage! Houses Unite kills Marth. Fallen Star does not kill. She could stand where Marth is. So if I can get rid of Marth, then that's good, and she'd probably be able to take care of, um... Fucking Diamond. We just have to get these bitches out of the way. Think whatever you like. Salika's gone. Whatever it takes, you have to get rid of this guy. Alfred can also probably do a lot. Let's see what Alfred can do. Alfred can kill him. Perfect. Nice. This is what I trained for. Marth is gone. So now Celine. Houses unite. Doesn't fucking kill. Raging Storm? That'll at least give us a second turn. It appears that there is no hope for peace like before. Who will be left to inherit this throne? Nice. My resolve is unchanged. And then Thoron kills him. Perfect. That's mostly why the Edelgard bracelet's so fucking insane. I no longer have to fight. Brodia. I'm sorry I was a weak king. Goodbye, Diamant. Alright, that's all the royals. You know, it just hit me. I might not actually be able to keep any of these items. <laughs> but it's fine. Alright. Longbow, this fucker. Yes. Alright, um... Scalibur, this guy. Nice. Elwind should be able to take care of the other dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. Sweet. This fight is going on for a while. I kind of expected it to, but still. Alright. Thoron can kill that guy. Nice. How many?
many more enemies are on the field? Just these two? A corrupted wyvern and nil. Oh, he's about to destroy that part of the ground. Ooh. We're probably gonna really need to just rush in soon. Alright, kill him. We have to get rid of him. I can't believe I did that. I don't know if he's gonna destroy the whole platform eventually. There is... Oh no, we still have plenty of time. There's plenty of sigils. Yeah, they, they give us more, a lot more time than is really necessary, it feels. Alright. Stand there. Sucker. Walk up to him and Excalibur him in the face. Okay. Alright. So that basically just leaves him. And Madeline has done one thing this whole mission. Generals aren't that good in this game. Does that kill that Wyvern? What did he just do? Oh, he didn't destroy the platform. He ate the dude. Something was left behind over there. It seems harmless, but perhaps we should investigate. That's an emblem pool. Alright, it's time. Nil. Yeah, ground and emblem energy. Can you reach from here? No. You can reach from here. You do no damage, though, so that's not worth even attempting. You can't reach him. If I put a vein of flame right here, it's not going to affect him. Should have expected that. All right. Let's just get a surround on him. I've got this. <laughs> Fabrication can't go in. No, fabrication's going to disappear. That's a shame. No problem, though. Madeline will get here probably by the time we kill him. Alright. He's gonna beam right there and hit nobody. Because he's stupid. Oh, he's trying to spawn, dudes. Sure don't want that. That one there we're probably gonna have to deal with. So that's fine. <laughs> Come on, Madeline. You slow bitch. Alright, he's gonna spawn one dude. Which is just a sniper. Oh, he's actually foreshadowing his attacks. I never noticed that's a thing he does. Oh. Well, that would have been good to know earlier. Whatever. Sick. If this love is a crime, that enemy's dead. What happens if I stand here? Nothing. It's just emblem energy. All right. I feel like we gotta start attacking him then. All 
All right, axe time, baby. Do you miss your old world? Pity, there is no going back. Not after you dare to defy me. Lamal. Um, you don't have physic. Sad. All right, Bell Spark. Your form reminds me of Sombron. I suppose this must be how it felt for you, watching me transform. Spare me your pity and presumptions. You were born with everything. We are not the same. Wah, wah. You will never understand me, not even if you have thousands of years to contemplate. Our time together as twins was a far shorter interval than that. And yet, it was more than enough time for me to learn how much I care about you. Do not Aww. do this, Nil. Do not return things to the way they were with Sombron. Please, I cannot bear the thought of losing you. I'll help them. <laughs> Thanks, Diamond. All right, we're doing good damage. He's got a lot of resistance. Ooh, I don't like risking that. Can anyone just outright kill this health bar? Tail smash. Dragon versus dragon. I'm here. <laughs> Thanks, Diamond. Okay. This kills. No, it does not, actually. Because that chain attack ain't hitting. That kills. My oh, you proc sandstorm. Alright. Okay. Worm Slayer doesn't even do enough. Liberation time, baby. My wish has finally come true. I suppose I should thank you, Divine. Um, thank me for what? This sword in your neck? This world will fall, and it is all because of you. You ready for the sword in your neck? You're right. All of this happened because I came here. And by removing the ward on the final bracelet, I may have doomed this place for good. But I was summoned here to save you. As long as there's hope for that, what do you mean, I save won't him? give up. I require no saving. It is enough for me to watch you die, knowing you destroyed this world. I'm not here for the world, I'm here for the people in it. I'm here because someone wished for your salvation, even if it meant the world would end. Don't you see? There are people who love you. If I have to defeat you to make that clear, I will. Don't tell me he's gonna become good after this. I'll help. Come on. Thanks. <laughs> Alacrity. Rip nil. All right. I am defeated. This cannot be. Father. Father. No, you're supposed to say uncle when you lose. Ha <laughs> ha. The bracelets? Where did they go? They disperse when their duty is done. Then I guess this is goodbye. Why? Why? Even with the power of the bracelets, why am I no match for you? Perhaps you see it you now. suck! Also, that sword is OP. The path Sombron laid out for you was never the right one. 
If I cannot carry out Father's wishes, then my existence serves no purpose. All my life I have sought to be valued, only to discover that I am truly worthless. I will never be like you. You are not worthless. You are my irreplaceable twin brother. We are two halves of a whole. Ridiculous. I already told you I am not Nil. Then who are I know. you? Not Nil? What does that mean? I don't understand. What happened to the real Nil? He died in battle a thousand years ago. Shortly after Nell gave him her dragon stone. Oh. He wanted nothing more than to make his sister proud. And who are you? A fell dragon whose twin perished when I was too young to remember it. I was a lone child, with no abilities to distinguish me, surrounded by pairs of twins. I see. Until I met Nell. My mirror image. The resemblance between us was uncanny, and we discovered we had much else in common. Mm. We were inseparable for a time, and I was all too happy to have something like a real brother. He was my other half. I see. <sighs> that was how I felt, at least. But for him, there could be no replacement for now. When I found him, on the battlefield, breathing his last. His only thoughts were of her. He gave me her dragon stone, and said that he wished Nell would never have to grieve. I see. For that reason, he asked me to take his place. So you became Nell? I made it appear as if I had been the one to die that day. In a way, I was. There would be no one to mourn my passing. Father would not even notice. I'm having trouble believing all of this. Hmm. Believe it. I am an imposter. Don't say you that. You should not hesitate to kill me. Don't say that fucking word, dork. I brought this world to the brink of ruin. If you allow me to live, I will do it again. Let that be your reason, if nothing else. What say you now? I knew you were not Nell from the start. Mm. What? I have known about his death for a long time. Oh. What? I saw through your ruse from the beginning. I simply chose not to confront you about it. You took his place for his sake and for mine. That was an act of kindness. We may not have been born as twins, but I have always thought of you as my other half. Then... you are a fool! <laughs> Say what you will. I speak the truth. You will recall how we visited the burial site at Lethos Castle to say our farewells. You may not have seen that I left a pressed flower there. It was Nils. I was not saying goodbye only to the Divine Dragon that day. You were saying it to Nell, too. I carried that flower for a long time. I suppose some part of me was unable to move on. Aww. Despite that, you became very dear to me. Your companionship saved me from loneliness and despair. I was happy to be a sister to you. I will always cherish our time together, even if you do not feel the same. Without you, I would never have been able to continue fighting all this time. I trusted you above all others. Believed in you with all my heart. The only proof that we are not true twins is that I failed to sense your actual intentions. Perhaps. I confess, I have longed to hear you say such things. They make fine parting words. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you. For everything. Aww. Goodbye, Nell. Goodbye. But she's not gonna kill him. She's gonna, like, hug him or something. <laughs> or stab herself. Stop. I'm... What are you doing? What? No! 
There is another way to end your pain. Once I am gone, you will be free. For my part, I would rather die than lose anyone else. No! Oh, okay. If only I had realized sooner, I could have prevented this. Seeing Nil and my divine dragon again may be too much to hope for. But even so, I will rest well knowing your pain is at an end. Why would you do this? I deserve this fate, not you. You should have killed me. I could not bear to lose a second brother. For that is what you are to me, despite it all. Before I go, will you tell me your name? Oh, sir. Lady, no! No! Please, no! Okay. She's... She's gone. No last words of reproach. No regret for her own passing. All she wanted... was to know my name. Ah. <laughs> uh. Rafal, sister. Rafal? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I can't take that seriously. I mean, it's a good name, but it's too similar. My name is Rafal. Rafal. How did I forget myself? Nil asked me to look after his sister. That was his dying wish. But it was not merely his wish. It was also mine. All I wanted, all I really wanted, was to be her other half. When did I forget those feelings? You said this would be the end of my pain, Nell. But it is not. How could it ever be? I sense something. The Dragonstone pieces, they have a strange energy about them. Oh. That is Sombron's magic. Could it be that he cast a spell on that dragonstone? To fuck with... Rafal? To sow the seeds of hatred in the heart of Lord Nil. Rafal. <laughs> Dragonstones are destroyed by the death of their owner. Lady Nell died to break the spell. Ah. Sombron made it so that you two would fight each other instead of conspiring against him. Nonsense. You mean to say that it was just some spell? That all should be forgiven? Ridiculous! Regardless of Sombron's influence, I am responsible for my own actions. I chose to do what I did. It was what I wanted. I will not allow anyone else to shoulder my blame. Not even Father. I sought power and I attained it. Even now, I have no regrets about that. I only wish that I could have kept the promise I made to know. <sighs> Divine One. What is it? I have heard that dragons of great power can impart their life force unto others. Do you suppose that is true? Are you gonna try to revive her? Yes. My mother did that for me. But it took a thousand years before I woke up. Then I will do the same. I will revive now, even if it takes me just as long. I will dwell in this empty world alone, in the hope that she will one day rise. Perhaps that will be a fitting punishment for what I have done. And perhaps... If and when you wake, we may truly become two halves of a whole. You will. No. 
You already are. Is that so? Rafal, after Nell wakes up, why don't you come live with me in my Elios? What? I have a feeling you'd be able to travel there from here in the Somnia. Do you still have a well? The well? What about it's it? It's hard to explain. But I can sense my world right now. It feels closer. Yes. It would seem that a path to other worlds lies open. Perhaps it is due to the bracelets. I did wish to grant my father's desire if the conquest of other worlds was part of his plan. But I believe it is as you said. It should be possible to move between worlds from here. Then I'll grant you both my protection so you can travel there, when you're ready. The Somniel can't be entered without my blessing as a divine dragon. So come find me. That invitation is open, however long it takes for you to accept it. You would make an ally of the one who so recently tried to kill you? <laughs> if you are asking me here and now, then my answer is certainly no. But come on, your name's Rafal! Rafal said, Kirsten! A thousand years is a long time. I will say this. If, by some miracle, Nell awakens and finds it in her heart to forgive me, then, and only then, will I journey to you. I understand. Now, there is nothing more to say. Leave me. As you wish. I hope to see you again, though. Lord Rafal? Yes? Despite all that's happened, I am grateful for the time we shared. I hope that we'll meet as allies again. Your kindness is wasted on me. <laughs> Aww. Here we are, back at Letho's castle. It feels as if we've been gone for ages. <laughs> So much has happened since I first met Nell and Nil here. Or Rafal. The kings and queens, the emblems, they're all gone. Yes, and Mavir too. Well, there's one in our world and he's gonna be playable whenever we recruit him. <sighs> what should we do now? Come to my world, join Beats my me. party. Every nation's lost its rulers and probably their whole populations by now. I guess we could try to rebuild. Or each grab an empty throne and call ourselves rulers. <laughs> rulers with no subjects. I fear we have little to do but bide our time until... the end. Okay, nerd, I call Brodia. What if you came with me? Divine one? This world is beyond saving. You said it yourselves. There's no one left. I'm just a visitor. I have to go back before long. But if I leave you behind, I can't even be sure how long you'll survive. It would mean throwing yourselves into battle again. But still, I hope you'll consider it. Sounds pretty good to me. Better than twiddling our thumbs to the grave, at least. I say we go. A new world might mean scary new enemies and dangers. But still. It's an appealing proposal, but... I'm not sure. I wonder what Mavier would say. Would he forgive us? Oh, he will. What do you mean? We are his family, and if we go, he'll be left here all alone. It doesn't seem fair. <laughs> There's a Mavier in my world. Why should we be the lucky ones? Why do we deserve this? Deserve what? To be happy? Madeline, what's the last thing that the big guy that Mavir said to you. He said he wished me the greatest happiness. Uh-huh. There you have it. He'd probably tell you to look forward, not back. Even if it means leaving him behind. You don't get to speak for him. You didn't know him like I did. I knew him pretty darn well. We spent a ton of time together. We were practically brothers. 
Anyway, you gotta admit, he wouldn't want you sulking forever. I know. Mavier would tell me to go. To try and be happy without him. Go ahead and cry, Madeline. There hasn't been time to mourn him since... it happened. I'm sorry. You were born into this world, and I'm asking you to put it behind you. But if it makes any difference, I spoke to Rafal. He's planning to come as well, one day. You could wait for him with me. Divine One, I share Madeline's struggle. It feels wrong to be the only ones going, to leave our Lord and Lady behind. Well, who are they gonna... Who's gonna fight them? No one. I understand. Everyone's dead. But instead of languishing here, we could go to a world where our skills can be of use. And after everything that's happened, I find it difficult to turn down your request. We have been through so much together. Yes, we have. I'm inclined to go. Do the two of you feel the same? Yep. I agree. Then from now on, the remaining winds will swear our loyalty to you as your attendants. Yay. We will go with you, Divine One. I'm glad. I look forward to spending more time with all of you. The feeling is mutual. All right. Remember, you two. We have to work hard as the Four Winds, even in another world. What? We're not calling ourselves the Three Winds now? You knew the answer before you even asked. We four are a family, and we'll always be together. Nothing can change that. Aww. All right, everyone. Let's go. Now. Rafal, I'll see you again someday. Woohoo! Thank you, my fellow oh, divine hi. dragon. I pray your future is filled with hope and love. And please, take good care of them for me. What is this CG? Oh, they're just a recap. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Evil Fogato riding a wolf. Hello, Zelestia. Eh. Is this essentially the credits of Felzinolog? Am, am I supposed to give my thoughts on it here? It was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of the twist with the all the royals and everyone being corrupted, but eh, it, it's fine. Is this a different version of the song? Huh. Well, I've never heard this part of the song. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of how the corrupted thing was handled, nor am I a big fan of how they basically revealed it in gameplay if you just look at the status screens. I mean, that's creative and all, but still, I'm not a huge fan. Um... I understand that's why, like, the retainers and stuff didn't exist. Why is Vander there fighting Rafal? What? I never used Vander in this even once. <laughs> I feel like deployment was very limited, especially early on. I would have absolutely accepted there being more, um... More fighting to do, longer fights, with more deployment, 
but it's not a problem, really. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I wish they did have the retainers. That would have been cool, but whatever. Hey. The emblems. And Claude always looks nonchalant. It was good though. I think it was I think it was worth it. Yay, Celestia, Gregory, and Madeline joined our group. So then what are <sighs> the Nellen... weather's so beautiful today. I, I'd assume this means Nell and Rafal also join us, but when? That bright blue sky feels like a good omen. I could not agree more. Hi. <laughs> Nell, Rafal, I didn't expect to see you so soon. It has been some time, Divine One. Hello. So are you always just going to be ever so slightly edgy now, Rafal? I'm okay with that. That's better than just clan too. For me, it has been a thousand years. But Nell has returned, and we have come as promised. Oh, it, it's been a thousand years for you guys already? My sister and I are at your disposal. Welcome to you both. It really is a lovely morning. Time sure moves fast when there's a disparity between worlds. It's been two minutes. Yay, Nell and Rafal. All right, I'll gladly take that. <laughs> So that's Felzinolog, huh? I liked it. I think the fifth map was kind of shit. <laughs> like, like if I had to point at one and just be like, that one's not good. Yeah, well, hello. Felzinolog clear rewards. Mystic Satchel, Mage Cannon, HP Tonic, several tonics. Blasts. So we unlocked Enchanter and Mage Cannoneer. I guess. And we got a seal. Yep, we can now change to Enchanter and Mage Cannoneer, but they require a special item. New class, Enchanter. Enchanters consume items and weapons to enhance themselves and their allies. A Mystic Satchel is required to change to this class. Item Surge. Consumes an item to grant special effects to allies based on the item consumed. Weapon Surge uses a weapon in your inventory to strengthen all weapons of the same name, ally and enemy alike for the entire battle. That explains that. And Mage Cannoneer. <laughs> they pelt foes with artillery shells from long range. A Mage Cannon is required to change to this class. For Mage Cannoneers, attack power scales with dexterity. Their hit rate increases with strength build and proximity to the target. Okay. Let fly expends equipped shells to unleash a powerful artillery strike in an area. The attack lands after one turn. The danger radius has a different appearance than usual. Okay. Cool. So are they all just going to be standing around? Alright. Yep. His icon looks different now. He's no longer smiling, but it's the same pose. All right, so what supports do you guys have? Celeste, wow, wow. None of my normal people? Just Alir, Gregory, Madeline, and Nell. Are you kidding? Not even Rafal. Not even like Ivy or someone. I would assume like Ivy, but what the fuck? Gregory, oh my God. Same fucking deal. Alir, Zelestia, Madeline, and Rafal. Madeline has even fewer! I mean, it could be that they have one with... They all have... They all have to have one with Mavier. Like, spoiler, I know Mavier's playable. I also know Vale's playable. So, yeah. And then Nell has... Okay, Nell's got a few more. Alir, Tamara, Diamant, Zelestia, and Rafal. And Rafal has Alir, Alfred, Ivy, Gregory, and Nell. Okay. I would have really liked if they had some with, like, the retainers, so we could know more about what the retainers were like before everyone died in the other world, but whatever. Alright, they probably all exist just wandering around somewhere, right? 
Does Celestia sit in the lesbian chair? She probably would. They've got to be somewhere. They've got to be. We're not going into Nut Cave. We haven't been in the Nut Cave in forever. All right, who's that? It's Gold Mary. Doesn't count. No one asked. Jade and Zelkov. Where are they? I know you just joined me, but where are y'all? That's Alcrest. There's some people in the pool. Fr Clan and Fram. Who's sleeping? Okay, yeah, there's Nell. So we don't get to see her fucking casual outfit. Because she's sleeping at the pool. That's Tamara. Um, I should go the other way. So I can check the campfire. Pandreo and Diamant. Fuck's sake. I assume they don't have speech bubbles. This is just gonna be one of the Illusions or Saphir, right? Yeah, it's Kagetsu. Christ, fuck's sake. Am I gonna have to spin the wheel just to see their casual outfits? Come on. Chloe and Micaiah. I love this picturesque spot. Okay, nerd. Who's training? Hey, Divine it's One. The Divine Are, one. You're fucking kidding. You're looking she, cheerful, Divine One. She's training. I'm not cheerful. Literally, only two of them are out, and neither of them are in their casual outfits. All right, we gotta spin the wheel ahead of time, guys. Where's my bedroom? There. <sighs> time to spin the wheel. I just want to see their fucking casual outfits, just so I know what they look like. All right, rest. But Nell's sleeping at the fucking pool, and Madeline's training. All right, who's in my room? The knight approached the altar. It's Jade. Amazing. And See ya. Hello, motherfuckers. Where are y'all? Loud. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Hi, Lapis. I don't know why you're outside my room. Louis, Hortensia, Paynat. Kagetsu, Bune, Camilla, no one's at the pool. Someone's shopping. Oh, it's fucking Lynn. So that doesn't matter either. I have so many. Chloe, you haven't moved all day. Saphir. I swear, if one of them's training again. No. Vander at the Wyvern. Oh, one, one, sh someone shopping. It's fucking Ivy. You look well. Thanks. I'm not. Who's in there? Gold Mary, you've moved five feet since earlier. Jade and Zelkov, they just swapped spots. You're, you're all making me lose my mind. Who's over here? I swear, if it's like John, it's fucking Tamara. I haven't seen any of them! Oh my god, they're all just not out here! We have to sweep again! Just to see where they fucking are. Ah! I'll just look at the map to see if they're actually out there. Because if they're at, like, the pool or the training area, then it's a waste of time. Krom. Great, Krom's out. <laughs> None of them, again! They aren't real! Good morning! 
At this rate, Sombron's gonna take over all of the fucking- all, the entire world. Oh my god. Back to bed. I want to see their casual outfits. Not their fucking samey swimsuits and... Okay, Rafal's in the cafe. Good. So that's one. That's literally it. It's just Rafal, but that's at least one of them. I don't know what the other four are doing, but that's one of them. And it's gonna be some basic shit. He's gonna be wearing a suit and tie. Watch, they don't even have casual outfits. They're not gonna have casual outfits. Wait, I can check at the shop. Yeah, you can see what they look like at the shop. I'm so stupid. Yeah, we have to go to the shop. Rafal. Oh, you're on cooking duty. Okay, yeah, they do. It basically is just a suit. Well met. Hello, Rafal. It's just... It, it's just black clothes with a button-up that's unbuttoned so much to the point that it's just slutty. <laughs> Alright. Welcome. So... Rafal... Look like that. No, that's not what he looked like. Here's his casual set. Fuck's sake. Now, how do I only just look at them? I guess go to change? Yeah. Okay. Pants. Nell. Okay. Fur, fur coat for some reason. Giant legs. Holy shit, girl. Um. Madeline. Oh, that's cute. Two bows. Two of them, because that's necessary. Gregory, okay. Church boy who go to church. Sweater vest. And Celestia is boobing just as much as Gold Mary and Chloe. And she, her hair somehow makes her look older. I don't understand, but whatever. Also, she got the fucking Ushiromiya logo on the side. <laughs> Not actually, but it's close. Be well. Oh, I'm well, all right. Ah. So they do have casual outfits. They're just mean and didn't want to exist in public. All right. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. It's three hours, but I'm not splitting this one because most of it was one battle. If you like this video, then be sure to press the like button. And if you didn't like it, then fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. And as always, my name is Godzi, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Yeah!